This is SAT test 7, non-calculator question number 9. College Board provides us with a long word problem which ends with which of the following systems of inequalities represents the conditions. And then we have four answer choices, each of which is a system of inequalities. College Board almost always asks this type of questions, where rather than asking you to solve the system of inequations or system of inequalities, they're just asking you to write it. And in this case, it's easier to rule out wrong answers, and when three answers have been marked as wrong, the other one must match the words of the question, although then, of course, you recheck by rereading the question to make sure that you actually did match the words of the question. So let's take a look at what we have here. Marissa needs to hire at least 10 staff members, where X is the number of junior directors and Y is the number of senior directors. So x plus y must be at least 10. That's greater than or equal to 10. This choice is x plus y less than or equal to 10. That would be no more than 10 staff members. Since that's wrong, choice A can be rejected. Over here in choice D, x plus y less than or equal to 10. That's no more than 10, but we want at least 10. So choice D is wrong. We're down to choices B and C. We've also said she must hire at least three junior directors, where junior directors are x. x greater than or equal to 3 works. x less than or equal to 3 would mean no more than 3 rather than at least 3. So choice C is wrong. At this point, we could mark choice B, but I feel more comfortable checking that all the conditions apply. She must hire at least three junior directors. That's x greater than or equal to 3 and at least one senior director. Senior directors is y, and y is greater than or equal to 1. That is at least 1, so that matches also. Marissa needs to hire 10 staff members, at least 10 staff members, and this is at least 10 staff members. So I still haven't checked choice B. Junior directors are paid $640 per week. Senior directors are paid $880 per week. The total cost would be 640x plus 880y, which is what we have on the left in choice B. And we're told her budget is no more than 9,700 per week, so that would be less than or equal to. So the first equation also matches, as we concluded from ruling other answers out, choice B is the correct answer. Now College Board asks six systems qu questions on each SAT, and one of them is always writing a system of equations or inequalities from the word problem. So we want to be proficient at systems and in particular at recognizing the correct system to match a word problem. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.